everyone, so we're going to be doing a double episode review today. I uh, figure I want to just catch up on my reviews and uh, we'll just do two right now. And uh, there's two other episodes, 45 and 46, which we'll uh, do a review on later. But uh, right now I just finished watching episode 43 and 44, one right after the other. And I figure with everything just fresh in my mind, I might as well just talk about these episodes right now. So definitely really really interesting episodes really awesome episodes honestly uh, we've had the best episodes so far in this particular season uh, episode 43 we start off with Misaki actually deciding to go and confront Corin um, because if she defeats Corin then Naoki and Aichi will supposedly be freed from Psyqualia as well so uh, going there that was definitely really interesting to establish the bond between uh, or rather develop the bond between Misaki and Corin. You know, given that uh, Misaki lost to Corin the first time, it is going to be a significant matchup again to see what happens here. Now, of course, um, you know, there was a bit of a prediction that maybe Misaki would win. And yeah, she did end up winning, but there was also a possibility that Corin could win as well. So there was enough suspense for you to actually have uh, uh, back and forth uh, thoughts on actually who would actually win this fight but uh, of course it's great to see that Masaki won and uh, freed Corin as well as uh, Naoki but of course uh, the interesting thing is uh, how Psyqualia works uh, uh, Takuto is actually the one that um, put the curse on to Aichi so Aichi is actually still being controlled which makes it uh, definitely very odd, you would think that Aichi would be freed from this uh, due to Misaki, but uh, no, he's actually going to be um, one of the main, I guess, villains that's pretty much been puppeteered by uh, Takuto here, so this is going to be very, very, like, hyped up for sure, so actually not even Takuto, this is Concert Master here actually controlling everything, so definitely turning things to a very scary direction. Right now, it looks like the so-called bad guys team um, and I'm obviously saying that with quotation marks because you know it's completely subjective here to who's actually on the good side or bad side but you know technically the bad guys are actually on this really good advantage right now I mean you have Aichi and uh, Takuda here pretty much running this uh, it's going to be really really crazy to see and as a result you're going to have to rely on both uh, Kai and Ren who are both currently at full power so you know everyone else is kind of in an inactive state so it's definitely going to be very very uh, scary to see what actually happens throughout this as well so it's definitely building up a lot of suspense here uh, a lot of hype uh, I know I've been using this word a lot now throughout this particular review but it's just really cool to see uh, but of course Corin after losing she becomes unconscious and uh, you know uh, Takuda even explains that if she is going to be awoken again uh, when she's freed from Psyqualia and that's obviously by defeating Takuto so she's going to be unconscious for the rest of this arc until Takuto bees, uh, gets defeated but of course what this does mean is that um, we're actually getting a bit of remnants from the first or original season where um, Corin is going to lose all her memories again. So that's definitely going to be very heartbreaking for Misaki and Aichi as well to witness this. But of course, right afterwards, we're going to experience perhaps the Legion arc. So that's probably going to be a very interesting to thing to see as well, uh, whether or not Corin will actually play an active role in the next arc. But uh, for now, it's definitely... Uh, very interesting to see because Corin's character also had a bit of turmoil as well during this fight She was kind of contradicting herself kind of uh, with her particular thoughts on what her goals were so Really nice relationship established between Misaki and Corin um, But of course moving on to episode 44 Kai and Ren are now in this really uh, crazy position They are the two vanguards in the good guys team uh, that are the strongest and pretty much the one that everyone's relying on to actually uh, save the day here. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Uh, of course, um, you know, you have uh, Ibuki as well coming in, uh, being invited by Miwa, which is something that I really didn't expect. Is uh, Ibuki going to join? But of course, what happens is uh, Kai is now taking on Ibuki 
and uh, he's leaving Ren to actually go take on um, Aichi instead. Uh, this episode here, very awesome, because firstly we get a glimpse of the fight between Kai and uh, Ibuki here, so something I really wanted to see, and uh, we also get Ren versus uh, Rekka here as well, because Rekka just happens to be following uh, Ren the entire time based on the orders of Takuto, so things are just getting really really hyped up, and thing is this, the way this series is done at the moment, uh, both Kai and Ren have really really cool fights, very um, interesting fights that we want to see and it's been set up like that because they don't have enough fights to the point where we're getting bored of them but when they do fight it becomes so interesting because we're kind of craving it. So really cool here, even though Ren's fight only lasted one minute, um, it was just so awesome to actually just see him beat uh, Rekka like that. and. Uh, Interesting thing about Rekka as well, how she just decided, oh, I don't want to take orders from Takuda anymore, and as a result, I want to just join the the good guy side by um, taking on Ren, knowing that she'll lose. So, definitely a very, very odd thing to do here. It makes me wonder, will Aichi actually go through what Rekka's doing here as well? Is this a glimpse of uh, in the future where Kai actually defeats Aichi and this happens. Um, but of course we don't know that in the next episode for all we know, Ren could actually be the one that defeats Aichi and Kai could be the one that actually loses to Ibuki here. So we have no idea but everything is just getting really hyped up. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the episode so far. I haven't actually watched episode 45 and 46 yet, so definitely going to be very excited to actually uh, see what happens there. I didn't even watch the previews for episode 45, so I have no idea, I really have no idea whatsoever. Uh, but tell me what you guys actually thought about these particular episodes, 43 and 44. I definitely thought these were really awesome episodes, so I hope they keep it up in episode 45 and 46 as well. Uh, but in the meantime, hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you next time.